Hi, this is your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holterth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. This video is going to show you how to set up your monitor properly so you're not in bad posture, so that you're not agitating your neck and your upper back. The way that we do that is we look at our monitor here and almost every time your monitor, I almost guarantee this, is going to be too far away from you and it's going to be too low. When it's too far away and it's too low, we look at it and we're trying to do our work we end up doing this posture here where we're leaning forward and we're doing a hunch position, putting a lot of tension into the muscles in our back and our neck. The other thing that happens is when it's too low, we want to get in line with it and we also hunch forward for that very reason. There's a couple tests that exist that people use to figure out how to set up your monitor properly. I don't really like them too much, but I'm going to use them as a guide to introduce the tests that I like to use that I kind of came up with. So. The first one is the height. You want to make sure that your eyes are falling at the top third of the screen when you're looking at it. So people will take their hand and they'll trace with their finger and go straight out and see where their finger is landing. So mine is about two inches above the monitor right now. When I say the monitor, I mean the screen. I do not mean the plastic border around it. You're not looking at the border. You're looking at the screen, so keep that in mind. The reason I like this test is because people tend to trace like this and they trace like this. You want to make sure you're going as straight as possible across and getting across that way can be a little bit difficult. I probably went off myself. So when I look at this here, a better test that I like to use is if I can look at the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen without having to move my head, then the monitor is too low. And again, it's usually too low. It's very rare that it's too high. So what I'm going to do, this is the reason they put reams of paper in your office. They're monitorizers. You're going to take this and you're going to slide this paper back and underneath the monitor here. Now when I look at the monitor, if I look at the top and the bottom, I do not have to move my head and I can look comfortably with just my eyes from the top and the bottom of the screen. Is the monitor too far away? Probably. You should be within arm's length of your monitor. I like this test but I also don't like this test. The reason why is monitors are all different sizes. I don't know if you can, you can definitely see in this frame. This is a massive monitor, and we're gonna be using that soon we implement the new software. This is a smaller monitor. This monitor, I don't need to sit as close to and I do as I do for this one. Especially because Samsung wants to listen to us when we're talking, so when we're a little bit closer to the monitor, they probably will like this. So what we wanna make sure that we keep in mind is different monitors have different sizes and we don't want to sit too close to the big ones. Our vision is different, so some people can see far away really easily, up close they get kind of dizzy. Try to figure out what works for you and the best way that I like to do this is kind of use this test as a guide and move this a little bit closer to get a little bit closer distance and then work at it for like 20 minutes. When you sit in your chair you want to sit with your butt to the back of the seat back against the seat back working with your hands on the keyboard like this. If after working for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you're coming forward like this, that's when the monitor is too close. You can actually take this monitor and move it like super close and feel like you have to sit back in your chair in order to work on it. That's a good thing because that's going to encourage good posture. You want the monitor distance to make you feel like you have to sit upright in your chair in order to use it. We're trying to get good posture so might as well use this as a tool to help you. Quick uh, thing I want to tell you uh, before I go about progressive lenses. People who wear progressive glasses with the lenses that like, you know, short distance at the bottom, long distance at the top, bifocals, um, the problem with that is, is that people tend to look out of the bottom of their glasses when they're reading their screen. So if you were to set up a monitor properly at this height for someone who doesn't wear progressive lenses like myself or bifocals, then they'll look at their monitor like this all day looking out of the bottom of their lenses. For them, you want to go significantly lower. So I would go like pretty low even as low as that for someone who has progressive lenses. If they can look at the top and the bottom of the screen comfortably without moving their head, then the height is good. So that's it for me. Um, well, let me real quick, paper, if you don't like the look of it, just get monitor risers or you can get a monitor arm. I like risers better because they're cheaper. And the other reason I like them is because the monitor arm gets moved around a lot and then it gets out of the right position that it's supposed to be in. Monitor riser will kind of stay in the position it's supposed to be in. That's it for me. I'm your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holtworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you feel like people need to hear this information, go ahead and share it with them. Thanks again.